someone's stalking someone's stalking the betrayal would be that this bitch would turn around and try to kill uh trigger warning try to unalive 8 8 on the board the feminine divine feminine so whoever this divine feminine and divine masculine is is very very powerful being lord of strife is out the ace of swords they're going to be ruined completely for casting this spell of death and this lustful spell, this binding of the, the emperor. I put a spell on you type shit. The bitch does not. Oh, sorry. The young lady <laughs> has no self-worth to where she has to put a love spell on somebody. You got to put a love spell. You have no self-worth at all. It's low vibration. There's no need to do that. Magic has been blocked. So if you're the Empress or the Emperor hearing this reading, the the uh, Romeo or Juliet, there this magic, this binding, tying, death spell has been blocked, okay? It's not going down like that. At all. At all. Karma's on the board. Karma is on the board. What else for it? Karma is on the board. They were doing offering. To who? The offering is the sacrifice that they made. They did a sacrifice, a blood sacrifice. It says sky and land on it, so it's, it's supposed to be to a, a, a deity or a, a god. But they don't know that you guys are powerful as fuck. Magic of heart and mind. They did that spell. That's the feminine. She did the magic of heart and mind. Okay. To to influence the masculine. To be with her. Somebody also has to do a um, confession. I don't know. Somebody. I'm hearing confession. Somebody may have to go to a church and do a confession. Confess your sins. Um, there's struggle in the group. This is this is spiritual warfare. So her and the two men are fighting. Or will be fighting each other. Because this was supposed to work. There it is. Judgment comes out. God worship. And again, yo, this bitch is ruthless. Ruthless. Now your ancestors are saying revenge. The underworld. That's the judgment call from the underworld. Because you are, again, the goddess of the underworld. So the underworld is coming for revenge. Wow. Wow. Oh, shit. And remember I said here the other side. That, that could also be your, your ancestors, your guides, your spirit team. Punisher of broken promises. This entity and this one too. Remember they, they demon possession? This entity, this partnership of broken promises is here. They they're gonna collect from this hope. I I don't even know what to say. They struggle with a new group. They're right now experiencing spiritual warfare, anxiety, anxiety attacks. They wasn't thinking about that when they were throwing the magic spells, when they were throwing them death spells. She was vain and self-absorbed. That's her. Vain and self-absorbed. Didn't think that think about the consequences of her actions. It's Halloween time. Get great conflict and this devastation is about to enter her fucking life. Happy Halloween, motherfucker. So with the ace of swords on the board, I feel like that's you, you know, some of you guys don't realize what, what entities are working with you. Some of the entities, they, they started out despising you and ended up loving you too. And was like, hold up, no, this is this ain't right. She ain't doing nothing wrong. Okay? An inexperienced ma magician, the fool, has entered the board. It, you know, mm, you know what I'm getting from this. I'm getting that this 
woman here has someone that she's supposed to be training. Inexperienced magician. Someone in her family. Blood. Okay, someone's searching for a spell to get out of this uh, energy of being attacked. Yeah, they wasn't. They didn't think they were going to be attacked. Oh, I just heard what goes around comes around like a hula hoop. Oh, wow. Wow. They're trapped. Trapped from the magic done in the past. What goes around comes around like a hula hoop. The dark truth is being uncovered at this time. They're experiencing spiritual warfare. Okay. Uncovering. Look, all because of this graveyard magic. Look at this. This greed. They wanted your energy. This greed. Okay. The other side is still popping up. Like, um, she is the the our our lineage here. She's the one that's gonna carry on our lineage. For you. Hi guys, it's Madame La Rue in the Magic Tower One Two Three. I got a reading for you here. This lady, okay, this lady and this high priest right now are showing up as virtuous beings. Okay, um, they're coming to some form of stability. We have right here. Okay, this is what what got me when I was reading. This gentleman here is sleeping with this young sorcerer. This uh, younger than the age of 25. This is a secret, okay? Um, then also, there's a voodoo practitioner out here that's about to get a letter about a union on this uh, pink moon and the fish. The fish means riches or childbirth, okay? We have a partner with rings, okay? And right now, the stars. Uh, you might, you guys might end up being looked at as stars, okay? Um, we have the masculine voodoo practitioner. Uh, the, num the number 31 might be significant. Success. Okay, this voodoo practitioner is successful. He's a werewolf. And then we have a gentleman just sitting out here. Another thing. We have a warlock that is burdened. Okay. That is burdened by a contract. Okay, this contract is with a man who has a document of a heart of this lady and this is the key to some form of case, some form of criminal case. Um, I'm feeling like somehow this young sorcerer has something to do with this lady and the key. But let me get back to you. Okay, just consulted with spirit. It seems like the partner and the rings is going with the lady virtue. Lady virtue, the two cards came out together, okay? And she's an anchor for this high priest. Um, so the successful werewolf gentleman voodoo practitioner is thinking about rings or bringing some form of commitment to you we have 5d on the deck so a lot of this is 5d this is 5d the warlock burdened heart document that's all 5d something new is coming we have this young magician coming in from the 5d he's new to the 5d and you and this um this high priest who's showing up as a voodoo practitioner is going to be prosperous the magician pops up on the board. Your voodoo practitioner partner that's coming in to give you commitment is a magician. Your guardian angel pops up on the board. And this young magician that's come, that's new in the 5D is giving access to un, the unknown enemies. By the way, this secret, um, this secret love affair that's going on with this girl, this young girl, this is a reputation trouble. So they're going to be in trouble for this. This is going to cause some mighty powerful change. And the lovers pop up on the board with the lady virtue, the high priest, voodoo practitioner, prosperity and success. This new access with this new young magician in the 5D, um, he's working with a coven, okay? And they're doing spell work. Divine Feminine pops up on the board right, right after the lover's card. And also this gentleman over here, he is a wizard that's having that affair with that young girl. This coven is worried. I, I wonder why they're worried. Um, maybe because this young magician is new to the 5D. Or it could be that the high priest and the lady virtue knows about what they have been doing in the back there. Last but not least, the witch pops up on the board. If you'd like full reading on this, this is on my YouTube channel at the Magic Tarot 123. Something big is going down on this pink moon. And boy, oh boy. Whoever you are, 
you're one lucky woman.